Hi, good morning guys. This is Nivrithi. Welcome to my YouTube channel Z5. Most of you must have been to some or other museum in your life. But the one you are going to explore with me today is the world's third most weirdest and quirkiest museum. We are at Sulab International Toilet Museum. Yes, you heard it right. It's a toilet museum. Situated in Palam, this museum has free entrance, free parking and even free guide service. This Sulab International Toilet Museum was established in 1992 in New Delhi by great sociologist and social activist Dr. Bindeshwar Pathak. This toilet museum showcases the toilet system of last 5000 years from 3rd millennium BC to the end of 20th century. Imagine we have been using toilets from last 5000 years and still we are here trying to educate most of the rural villages of India to stop open defecation. Whatever, I'm super excited to see what's in there. There's, there's Shekha, assistant curator of this museum, who's going to take me through this beautiful journey. So let's explore. Hi Shekha, how are you? Pleasure meeting you. Bye, same here. And we'll start the journey of toilet. I'm super excited. <laughs> Basically, this whole toilet museum is divided into three main sections, ancient, medieval and modern. So first of all, we are discussing the toilet system from ancient times. Ancient I mean to say from the times of Harappan and Mohan Jadaro. Ancient times section displays the sanitation system of the Harappan settlements of around 3000 BC. The excavated main sites of that civilization at Harappa and Mohan Jadaro have remains of wells, bathing tanks, drains, toilets, roads and even lanes. Talking about medieval times, during medieval period in India or elsewhere, kings and emperors used to live in big forts for security reasons. This museum displays toilets of Ambedkar Fort Jaipur, Akbar's Fort in Fatehpur Sikri Agra, Jinji Fort of Tamil Nadu and Golconda Fort of Hyderabad. Then comes modern period which starts with showcasing toilet system of Roman and European period from 18 to 19th century. Actually this was the time of industrialization so different kind of fancy and decorative pots came into existence. Shikha also showed me a very interesting book come toilet. Actually during the time of British and French cultural rivalry, France once gifted this book come toilet to Britain to humiliate or insult them. So that's a sit, eat and shit kind of toilet. This seems like a throne. Yeah, this is a throne. Toilet. Okay. So this is a toilet just beneath under this throne. Oh my god. So he used to sit here while sitting here. He used to deliver a lecture for the king he chose to have to So in Las Vegas, there's a restaurant based on toilet themes. So we got a gift from there because people used to drink beer in this mug. Different from the traditional one because it is a bit elevated from the back side. It's 13 degree of elevation so that pressure does not come on knees of elderly people while squatting. So this is a porta potty or a picnic toilet. Porta potty, yeah. Okay. So if you people are going for the picnic purpose, you can mm -hmm. just easily carry this kind of toilet in your car. I, I would definitely money. like to buy this one. Very... <laughs> this is Sujok therapy from Dr. Sir Park of Korea. This is amazing therapy. You can delay your nature's call pressure for 10 to 15 minutes by simply drawing this figure on any palm, left or right, anti-clockwise. This is Insinolet electric toilet 
the amazing part of this toilet is it converts the human waste into ashes by pressing just a button within few seconds and that ash can be used for fertilization purpose that's amazing it's yeah exactly these are fancy designs and basically this is a lion pedestal port oh yeah there is a lion there is a lion beneath this what a unique creation no wonder times magazine has rated this museum as third most quirkiest museum of the world in 2014 So we got an opportunity to meet creator of this museum Mr Manoj Kumar. He too shared a detailed knowledge on history of sanitation with me. So guys as you, as I told you this Sulab International Toilet Museum was created in 1992 by great social activist and sociologist Dr Vindeshwar Pathak. We are privileged and honored to meet Dr. Patra Khemsar. So, uh, what was the reaction here in India by officials? They readily approved, or they objected that what is this idea of creating museum of toilets? Why are you doing this? Uh, in India, uh, sanitation or toilet mm -hmm. may not be accepted. Accepted exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But now it has been accepted, and uh, you will find even Sanjay Kapoor come here. Because accepting this idea way back in 1992, that even is a big achievement, yes, I guess. Yes, yes, right. <laughs> so that way, because this is a new idea, mm. of innovation, mm. and uh, many things are here. Even till date, it's new. Uh, yes, yes, yes. When we talk of toilet museum today in 9, 2019, it sounds weird. Many yeah, times. many people have not heard you today. Not yet. Yeah, yes, right. many people have not heard. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it's an honor to meet you. Thank you. Well, guys, I have learnt a lot today. It's been fascinating knowing about the history of toilet system of the whole world. It's been amazing experience. I'm feeling so blessed to meet Dr. Bindeshwar Patak himself. He's such a great human being. Hope you too love this place. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Touch lives, live experiences. See ya.